Hi, this is Lou Agave of Long Island Loot Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, and the web. Thanks for looking at my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Today, tequila in 90 seconds or less. This is the world's best sipping Blanco under $20. Okay, there's a lot of close ones. You know, you got Cimarron that's over there. You have a couple of others, but then they start to go up in price. I can get a liter of this on Long Island at Total Wine for $19.99. Under $20, okay? Z's got it for $21.99. Arete, classic. So this is their bottom of the line. And I'll tell you something. Um, from what I understand, a lot of the owners of this brand and people in town uh, drink this. This is a, a, an old-time, bold Mexican type of tequila. Uh, it's cooked in an autoclave. It's slow-cooked. Um, it it's, it's, uh, has a shredder roller. It's stainless steel fermentation with natural house yeast. They do a double distillation in stainless steel with copper coils. It sits in stainless steel for a while before they bottle it, and it's carbon filtered as well. The other thing is the heads and tails aren't cut much on this uh, lower end, okay, like they are with the Suave Artisanal line and their other lines of Arete. Uh, this one, they leave the heads and tails alone pretty much for the most part, which is a good thing because, you know, I had a major producer teach me once about there's a lot of floral notes and other stuff in the heads. And then there's other flavors in the tails. A lot of brands cut too much of them away. Got to cut a certain amount, you know, uh, by law or whatever, you know, to make it safe. But the point is, there's a lot of flavors that some brands cut away, and that's why you don't get as complicated. Now, on this, on those... I get a lot of floral and fruit, so, you know, that's maybe part of it. Some pepper, maybe a little anise. Some smoke, it's earthy, you know, um, spicy. Now, you know, this is made at Arete Nam 1109 in the Valley of Jalisco uh, by the Orandines, you know. So you have uh, Jaime and Eduardo are the owners and the master distillers. This is like gritty and bold. This is like, you could sip this. So this is like, to me, the bottom of the, where you could sip Blancos, okay? Now, let's be honest. Sometimes you need some stuff in the house to sip during the week, right? You're not going to, you know, grab all your top-line stuff all the time. You're going to run out pretty quick. You're going to go broke, right? So you should look around and see if you can get out at a classic Blanco because it's inexpensive and it's a good... Now, of course, for mixing, it's going to be the bomb, but... I have got absolutely no problem sipping this. Really, I don't. Often. It's sweet. It's fruity. Like I say, peppery. Bold, though. It's, it's, it's got some smoke and spice. It's clean. So, you know, this is a really good tequila. A tequila matchmaker, I, I'm going to go with an 84. And, um, like I say, the best sipper under $20. Arete Classic. Salud from Lou Agave.